welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a full set of stiletto nails so the first thing that i'm doing is just going in and applying the nail tips i decided after i had already prepped the nails that i wanted to record this set so i've already pushed back the cuticles removed the shine from the natural nail so we're just going in with the tips the tips that i'm using are the mccart nail tips and i'm using the kds glue to apply them remember that when you're applying the nail tips you want to make sure that they fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them to be too big or too small because if not you will get lifting or breakage so again we're just going to go ahead and apply the nail tips and then after this we'll move on to the next step So once I apply all of the nail tips, I'm going to go in with the tip cutter and we're just going to trim the nails down to her desired length. She wants them like a medium long type of length. So I'm just going in and cutting them down. Remember that after you cut them down, you want to make sure that you measure them against each other to make sure that they're all even. Um, after this, we're going to go ahead and just trim the sides. And again, we are going to be doing stiletto. So when we cut the sides, this is going to save us a lot of time whenever we start shaping the nails remember you want to always work smarter and not harder alrighty so now I'm gonna go in with my straight edge nail clipper as you can see I'm cutting right from the nail group from the side of the nail towards the tip and cutting them into a stiletto shape again this is just going to save us time we're just cutting off basically unnecessary nail tip that you know we don't have to file um so after we finish trimming the nails on the sides we're gonna go in with a 100 100 nail file and we're gonna start shaping up the nails Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and just shape the nails. So I'm following the sides at a 90 degree angle. And then of course just make them as pointed or rounded as you want as you want them um, and just all keep alternating between the two sides that way you don't file too much on one side because then the nail is going to be crooked remember you want to make sure that you file right from the nail groove you want the nail to be the exact same size as your natural nail so you don't want any of the nail tip hanging off the nail so if it is even just a little tiny bit make sure that you file it off to make the tip fit literally perfectly on the nail bed um, and then again you can make them as rounded or as pointy as you want she likes hers pretty pointy so we're just falling on both sides and kind of just rounding off the very very tip so we're going to go ahead and finish doing this on all of the nails and then we also blend the tip right in the middle to make it look a lot more natural once we apply the acrylic and when you're blending the nail right in the middle like literally do not think about it too much i just go in there and 
gently uh, file it in the middle you don't want to file on their natural nail just the nail tip um that way it doesn't have like a little bump like a little lump you know where the nail tip starts um so that's all you're doing so do not file too much because i know i had um a person or i had someone tell me that you know once she blended the nail tip it kind of broke off in the middle and that's why you want to make sure that you're really careful and gentle and you don't file too much but anyways we're going to go ahead and finish shaping up this other hand so same thing following the sides at a 90 degree angle and as you can see with us uh, like cutting the sides of the nail tip it saves us a lot of time we just go in there and quickly uh, shape up the nail Alrighty, so after we finish shaping up the nails, we're going to go in and just dust the nails off and then we're going to go in with the primer. After this, we're going to go ahead and apply the acrylic. So for the acrylic, we're going to be using the Mia Secret Pink and I'm going to be using some sequins, which I will have on my website. Um, I'm also going to be using some flames, which will also be available on the website. And then we're going to use some colored acrylics. So the first thing that I did for this pinky is just apply a layer of the Mia Secret Pink acrylic. We applied that just a very thin layer after that we're just picking up the sequins with a little bit of acrylic so i dip my brush into the um monomer then into the powder and then dipping it into the sequins and placing them on the nail and then of course we're going to come back in and encapsulate it once we have a good coverage Okay, and remember that whenever you are encapsulating the sequins or really just anything, you want to make sure that the acrylic is thick enough to where it's completely, you know, covering whatever is inside the nail. Because if not, when you come back to file, you are going to file all your sequins. So remember, you still want to make sure you have a nice apex and especially you want to make sure that you have a nice thickness at your tip because with them being stiletto, they will break off really easily. For the next nail, we're going to also be using some sequins. And remember, whenever we're doing this, we always do the layer of the Mia Secret Pink first. That way, whenever she comes back next, like we can just file away the sequins, the colored acrylic and everything else. And then she'll still have the Mia Secret Pink underneath. That way we don't have to do a full set. Um, and the brush that I'm using is actually a brush from Nail Supply Glamour. The reason why I'm using this one is because I forgot to clean my Mia Secret one. Or actually, I didn't forget, but it was still soaking since my last client. You guys know that I do my clients back to back. So I had just... Um, put it in a little dappin dish with acetone to soak off any of the acrylic that was in my brush um so that's why i'm using this one and it's a really pretty good brush but i feel like it's too flimsy so it kind of doesn't like brush the acrylic like it should all the way but it's like a it's okay an okay brush um but anyways now we're just going in and just doing a flame these flames will be available on my website and the key to applying the flames is you want to make sure that you apply a little bit of glue underneath to make them stick really good because even sometimes we're in like whenever you apply it and you feel like it just like stuck really good um it still kind of lives as you can see here it kind of still lives after you apply the acrylic but if you apply a little bit of glue and just hold it down with the back of your brush it stays really well and you won't have no problems with it lifting because once it lifts, if you try to like put more acrylic to cover it up the nail is going to end up being really really thick so make sure that you glue it down a little bit before you apply the acrylic that way you don't have that problem i know before when i used to um 
the flames before i had a really hard time and that's the solution that i came up with is just doing a little tiny bead uh, or drop of glue underneath and just holding it down for a little bit and then encapsulating the flame Alrighty, so next for the middle finger, we're going to go ahead and do the Mia Secret Pink underneath first. And then we're going to go in with some colored acrylic. I'm going to be using a blue and a pink. And they are by Mia Secret. Um, so I'll be sure to leave the link down below. But I'm just going to do like the two colors and I'm going to alternate them. As you can see, it's not really an ombre. Um, it's not really meant to be really neat. It's just the two colors, um, you know, just going down the nail. And then, of course, after this, we're going to go ahead and encapsulate um, this nail with the Mia Secret Pink. Next, for the index finger, same thing, going in with the Mia Secret Pink, applying that over the entire nail. And then after that, we're going to go in with that same pink and blue acrylic. But this time, we're going to do it um, going from one corner to the bottom of the nail. And same thing with the pink. We're going to, not necessarily a marble, but just randomly on the nail. And then while that kind of just dries a little bit, we're going to go ahead and do basically the same thing on the thumb, except for on the thumb, we're going to add a little bit of the sequins. So same thing, doing the Mia Secret Pink first and then doing the colored acrylic, then the sequins, and then we're going to encapsulate it with the Mia Secret Pink. As always, you can use the Mia Secret Clear or just any clear, but I just use the pink because I usually buy the big like one pound bottle of the Mia secret pink and it's really translucent so that's why i just go ahead and use that Alrighty, so now that this finger is dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply the flame. I just thought that maybe if I let the acrylic completely dry before applying the um, decal or the flame that it would stay on a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. And after I, you know, just stick it down, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate it. And actually, like, it wasn't staying closer to the cuticle area. So I went ahead and applied a little bit of glue. So as you can see, you're just going to have to apply around with your stuff you know whether it's flames you know whatever you're using it's all about trial and error and just kind of finding what works for you because whatever works for me might not work for you um so you know just kind of figure out 
what things work for you and just stick to whatever works um but after we apply the flame we're gonna go ahead and encapsulate um the flame and also i don't know if i've mentioned it um lately but i have been adding a few drops of acetone into my monomer whenever it's in my dappin dish um and i feel like it helps the one i don't feel but i know for a fact that it dries the acrylic a lot faster so it's not as runny so if you feel like the mia secret acrylic it's a little bit too runny just add a little bit of acetone to your dappin dish and you would definitely see a huge difference um it's not going to be nearly as runny um and i think it'll be good for someone that you know has a little bit more experience working with acrylic and that you know you feel like it's a lot runny um it's going to help you a lot because it's going to help you even work a lot faster because you're not having to go in and keep adding and keep adding um but mia secret still is really good for beginners and the reason why is because since it is a little bit on the runnier side it gives you a longer time to kind of play with the acrylic and smooth it out compared to other brands that dry really really fast um and it doesn't give you enough time to you know smooth it out and then your nails come out really bumpy and lumpy but anyways we're gonna go ahead and basically do the same thing on the other hand we are gonna switch up things just a little bit but for the most part it's gonna be the same techniques so same thing we're doing the pink first and then we're gonna do the sequence and then encapsulate them same thing for the ones with the flame we're gonna do you know colored acrylic um or the man secret paint colored acrylic flames encapsulate it so same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch and then we'll move on to the next step
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic, we're going to go in with that same 100-100 nail file and we're going to go ahead and shape the nail sub. As you guys know, after we apply the acrylic, it kind of takes away from the shape, so we just have to go in and perfect that shape. Same thing, following the sides at a 90 degree angle and then just rounding off your tip and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and do this on all of the nails and then we'll move on to the filing part. Alrighty, so now we're moving on to the filing part and I'm using my Scarlet Melody Susie nail drill and I'm using the Pana nail drill bits and I'm using this at 10,000 RPMs. So as always, whenever I'm filing with my fine drill bit, I always start around the cuticle area first, making sure that I go from the right side over to the left side, just going back and forth until I'm able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is. That way I know that the acrylic like it's not on the skin and then i also make sure that i follow the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth but make sure that you spend a little bit more time on that cuticle area because trust me sometimes it's like no matter how much you file or you think you filed really good most likely you know you didn't if you're still getting lifting so again if you're getting lifting spend a little bit more time around your cuticle area i know at first as a beginner it's really intimidating because you feel like you're gonna cut someone but the only way to get better is literally just by practicing um so you know it's gonna take a little bit of time but just you know start off slow with your drill and then just speed it up as you get a little bit more comfortable but again we start around the cuticle area first going from the right side over to the left side going back and forth until you are able to see the cuticle the natural nail and the acrylic and then smooth out the rest of the nail and then as you can see i always fill on the top of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth i usually do this whenever i'm following the nail and also whenever i am buffing the nails and also another thing is making sure that whenever you're filing the nails you don't file too much because you don't of course want to file away any of like the things that you encapsulated whether it's glitter flames um you know colored acrylic whatever the case may be you don't want to file too much you also don't want to leave your file in one spot for too long because it's going to cause friction and it's going to cause your client's nail to burn so make sure that you're really really careful Alrighty, so now we're just going in with the buffer and this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail 
from the hand file or the e file so make sure that you buff those nails really really good and then after this we're gonna go ahead and dust the nails off wipe them off with an alcohol wipe or you can have your client wash their hands whatever works for you best Alrighty, so now I'm going to be applying some bling. So I'm using the Soleil Nail Adhesive. And then I'm using my bling, which is my rhombus. I'm going to use my SS6, my SS12. And I'm using my wax pencil, which all of these will be on my website. Except for, of course, the Soleil Nail Adhesive. You can find that on her website. I'll be sure to leave the information down below. But I'm just applying two big ones in the middle. And then I'm going to do um, some gold as well around there. Those will be on my website website as well and then some bling on there so just something random and then after this we're gonna spray that nail with the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator which is gonna help that glue dry a lot faster and I feel like it helps the bling stay on a lot longer when you spray them with that because it kind of freezes the glue into place once we have the bling on this nail we're gonna go ahead and apply the Mia Secret um top coat i'm sorry not the mia secret but the madam glam gel top coat on all of the nails and then we're gonna place them under the light for 60 seconds and we're gonna do the same thing on the other hand Alrighty, so same thing we're applying the bling on this middle finger except for it's going to be a little bit different it's going to kind of be on that top right corner and then after this we're going to just spray the nail with the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator and then apply the Madam Glam Gel Top Coat and then cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out super pretty. It's so colorful. I love the sequence, the shape, and the length. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNo32. And I'll see you guys next time.